Let's go ahead and install the Pi system connector. To begin with, let's review our architecture layout. We have three untrusted domains, the process control network in the LUX domain, the DMZ in the Arcadia domain, and the corporate network in the TeamUA domain. In the process control network, we have two data sources with AF server and Pi data archive installed on it. We will install the Pi system connector in the process control network. In the DMZ domain, we will install Relay and Pi Data Connection Manager. In the corporate network, we have the destination AF server and the Pi Data Archive. Let's take a look at the machine names. The two source Pi server are called PCN Pi Serve East and PCN Pi Serve West. The machine on which we're going to install Pi System Connector is called PCN PSC. The machine in the DMZ while we're going to install Relay is called DMZ Relay. The machine in the DMZ while we're going to install Pi Data Connection Manager is called DMZ DCM. And the destination Pi server in the corporate network is called Corp Pi Serve 1. The Pi System Connector uses Windows Integrity Security with Pi and AF mapping to authenticate on the data sources. Let's move to PCM PSC machine and start installing Pi System Connector. The first step is to run the installation kit. It's always best practice to right-click the installation kit and run as administrator. I'm going to extract this to a local extracted folder. Hit OK to continue. As part of the installation, it will install Microsoft.NET Framework 4.7. If the donor requests you to reboot your machine, please make sure to do that. Let's hit next to continue install PyF client. We suggest you enter the source AF server and the main source Pi data archive. This will add the AF server and Pi data archive in the known server table on the Pi system connector node, which will be populated when configuring the connector on Data Connection Manager administration page. Let's choose a TCP port to host the administration web service. We will use the default port 5460. This is the step to choose a low privileged domain service account to run the connector service. You can choose ontology buffer file location. We will just choose the default location. The installation kit will create a local Windows group called Pi Connector Administrators. Members of this group will have permission to connect to the Pi System Connector Administration page to create and change configuration, start and stop the connector. We will add John to this group. Let's go to services and to see if the Pi system connector service is running. As you can see, Pi System Connector is running as the domain service account in the Process Control Network domain. 
Next, we're going to configure the security for the Pi System Connector service account on the Source AF server and Source Pi server. Let's take a look to see what Pi System Connector service account needs permission on the Source AF server and Pi Data Archive. On the Source Pi AF server, the service account for Pi System Connector needs to have read access on the AF server level, read and read data for the AF database and all items in the AF database. For the Source Pi Data Archive, the Pi System Connector service account needs to have read access to the Pi Point Point Security, Data Security, Pi Point Table, and the PIDS Table. Let's jump to our Source Pi server and take a look at the configuration. Let's open Pi System Explorer, go to Server Properties, Identities. We created an AF identity called Pi System Connector for the Pi System Connector service account. And we created a mapping for the Pi System Connector service account to map to the Pi System Connector AF identity. Let's go to File, Connections, right click on the Source AF server, go to Security. As you can see, we give Pi System Connector read access on the server level. Let's also go to Database and right click on the AF database, select Security. As you can see, the Pi System Connector has read and read data for all the items in this AF database. Let's also check the security for the Pi Data Archive. Let's open Pi System Management Tool. In here, we're connected to both Pi Data Archives. Let's go to Security, Identities. As you can see in our setting, on both Pi server, East and West, Pi World is disabled. And we also created a Pi identity called PSC for our Pi System Connector service account on both East and West Pi server. Let's go to Mappings and Trust. As you can see, on both Pi server, East and West, we created a mapping for the service account to the Pi identity PSC that we created. Let's go to Database Security. The PSC Pi identity has read access for the PIDS table on both East and West Pi server. It also has read access on the Pi Point table for both East and West Pi server. Let's also take a look at the Pi tags. Let's go to Points, Point Builder, and take a look at one of the tags. PSC has read access for both point security and data security. And this finished our installation for Pi System Connector.